how to start preparing for dot net interviews from where to start where you should give more focus today i will share step by step topics in dot net to prepare for dot net interviews and also at the end of the video i will tell my own way of preparing for the interviews so let's start first and the top most skill is oops and c sharp here no compromise oops concepts c sharp basics generics collections exception handling keywords like abstract interface static override these are all are very basic and you should know each and every one of them and specifically when we use them in our applications that is also very important this is the most important because interviewers will always start interview with oops and c sharp questions and if you are not able to answer them then you know first impression is last impression second important thing is to learn dot net framework or you can say dot net core framework if you if you are still working in legacy dot net framework then make sure to learn dot net core also and here give more focus on dependency injection and entity framework garbage collection is also the same concept as it was in previously in dot net framework but yes you have to learn that also then after learning the framework learn about any one of the dot net project here we have three options uh, asp dot net mvc web api or razor pages these are the options which in uh, which we create our project in now depending upon your past experience or project you can choose any one of them okay nowadays web api is very very much in demand so if you know out of like if you know asp.net mvc or razor pages then your next step should be to learn web api after completing this you have to learn uh, sql basics do not go too much deep in this but at least you should know the basics for example things like joins stored procedures functions and indexes you should know after completing all the above segments uh, at last we have solid principles and design patterns here we should give more focus to solid principles design patterns like singleton and factory knowledge is good uh, rest of the design patterns are optional okay so this is the list of the things this is the hierarchy also which in which you should give preference to each topic and each level now as i said how i prepared my, for my own interviews i prepare for like around one week then i post my resume on job sites and start giving interviews and uh, prepare in between interviews okay because i know there are thousands of companies out there and thousands of interviews going to happen more i will give you uh, i will give interviews more will be the chances of cracking the interview and most importantly i will have the option to choose the better offer okay so tell me in the comment section what problem you are facing in the your interviews and i will also i will try to answer your questions and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel uh, if you want to take the right decision in your dotnet career